Hi there, Banning Lewis hiring team. My name is Gina Florence and I am from Fort Worth, Texas. And first of all, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity um, to submit a video and um, share some information with you today that will hopefully give you some insights as to what I would bring to the principalship at Banning Lewis and um, just help you get to know me, uh, what I'm about, and um, what I could bring to um, your community. So um, again, just thank you for the opportunity. I'm excited to share with you. And so, oh, yeah, I guess I would say the last 14 years in administration has, has probably been my favorite, though, just because I've had the opportunity to work with so many incredible leaders in five different districts across the state of Texas, districts that are Oh, so opposite from teeny tiny to very large and from um, very well off to um, extremely property poor. And um, I, I, I've just been given so much love and support and guidance and I've just wanted to give that back. And so to me, I see myself as an educator that is innovative, uh, creative, a motivator, um, somebody that's just a visionary for education and for leadership. But as a person, I guess, telling you a little bit about me, um, I'm just very fun-loving. Uh, I enjoy time with my family and my friends. Um, I have two beautiful horses that I absolutely love. Um, I like anything outdoors, fishing, hiking, camping, skiing, um, sports, um, anything that has to do with church or my church family, um, I also um, greatly enjoy. Um, but I guess the best thing that I can tell you about me is that I have had the honor and privilege to be parent, mom to two of the most incredible kids. Um, my daughter, Megan, is 28. She graduated from Texas Tech University, and she is now in the nutrition and health club fitness business and just doing great. She is recently engaged, and so we're looking forward to making an addition to the family early next year, and uh, very excited to be um, involved with that. So... Um, yeah, so then my son Hayden is 24. He graduated with honors from A&M, commander in the Corps for A&M. Um, Hayden is now serving our country as an officer in the Army. Uh, he and his beautiful wife Kelly are stationed in Hawaii, and yes, I've gotten to visit them and uh, experience Hawaiian life for real. Hi, Banning Lewis, and why am I the best candidate? Well, I think things happen for a reason. I'm going to go all the way back to seventh grade when uh, my son's sitting at the kitchen table working on a writing assignment, and he's on his second page. It's going really well. I haven't heard any growling, and I'm thinking, I can't find out what's going on here. So I started talking to him about it. He's like, you know, Mom, I really like Miss Evans' class. And she really cares about us. But she's teaching me to be a really good writer. And I don't even mind it anymore. And I'm thinking, wow, I need an English teacher like that on my campus right now. And uh, he's like, well, you know, Mom, she does live in Midlothian where you are. You, you can ask her if she's interested. And I'm like, yeah, ask her if she's interested. Here's my email. And uh, he still laughs to this day when he says, I helped Miss Even get hired when I was in the seventh grade. <laughs> and then this past summer, I'm with Hayden in Hawaii, and Jennifer calls and says, hey, I have an opportunity to get back into education. The kids are in a great place. I just want to be part of it. And then got to visit with the people that were getting her into that position. And I thought, wow, she's right. She really is in a wonderful place. And it's in Colorado. And... Um, so, yeah, uh, that was the reason I know about Banning Lewis and why I felt so strongly about um, considering um, this position. Why am I the best candidate? You're not going to find anybody more passionate or more dedicated to education, to kids, and to teachers, parents. Um, 
I have a very strong work ethic and I take my job very seriously. I'm somebody that is trustworthy and somebody that has um, the good of, of everyone in the campus uh, at heart. But I'm going to make it really simple. I focus on two things, positive relationships and academic excellence. And um, if that's what you're looking for, then I would be your best candidate. Describe my leadership style. <laughs> that's easy. Um, hands down, it's servant leadership. Um, and that is just whatever it takes, whatever it takes so that teachers can teach and students can learn. Um, teachers and students deserve the best and therefore I feel like I need to be my best and um, that's what I'm going to do in, in serving them in being a person that they can trust and come to maybe when they're not being successful and know that um, they can have the confidence in my competencies to um, give them a solution or, or help them find one if I um, um, I don't have one to offer, then we can find one together. So, um, yeah, it's also going to be um, a leadership style that's very hands-on. I like being close to instruction. I like being close to what's going on in the classrooms. I like to be close in um, teacher design for lessons and planning and um, how those things come about. Um, it's also very collaborative. Um, collaborative in how students work together, collaborative in how teachers work together, how they model that learning for students, um, how we collaborate with other campuses in the organization, the community as a whole. Um, yeah, so servant leadership, hands-on, collaborative style um, is what you would get with me sure if you recall a TV show ER. Uh, there's a scene in the show where one of the doctors is actually leaving the ER and um, the younger doctor that has been working underneath him, Carter, is literally following him out the door as uh, Dr. Green is leaving and um, he's he's like, what, what, what do I do? And um, Dr. Green turns to him and he looks at Carter and he just says, you set the tone. And um, when I think about how a leadership style affects the culture of a building, that's what I think of. Um, the leader sets the tone, and that tone has to be communicated, and it has to be just understood, and it has to be trusted. And when that happens, so on a campus where servant leadership is in place, pretty much on any given day, there's going to be a ton of evidence for um, how that leadership style has impacted the culture of that building. And um, I think the most prevalent way that that's going to happen is just through the teaching and learning itself and, and how it's being done and teachers teaching and students learning and students learning from other students and teachers learning from other teachers. Um, that could be through lesson design or um, professional learning communities or uh, common planning or um, a learning walk or instructional rounds or a data meeting where we're assessing how our students are learning and uh, what kind of questions we're asking them and are, are they giving us a, a short answer response or a one word response and uh, or, or are they able to give us a reflective thinking question in that response. So, um, yeah, just a ton of ways that uh, it could um, be um, witnessed there on the, the teacher side. Uh, on the student side of that, it might look like um, a science experiment, a club, a, um, a blended learning experience, an independent study, maybe a work study program or a mentorship program. Um, but anywhere they are contributing to the learning uh, for not only themselves but for um, those that they interact with. Um, that type of participation in uh, the learning process is um, very concrete and allows that 
learning to lean to mastery and um, then it becomes a prime example of how um, that leadership style can directly impact uh, a campus. I believe that my educational philosophy directly impacts instruction on a campus in several different ways. Um, first of all, all students can learn and they deserve the right to be able to do so. Therefore, that in directly influences what programs, services, clubs, extracurricular events, and sports are provided to them. I also believe that all students have unique and special gifts that they should be allowed to contribute and that those need to be celebrated and valued and recognized. Another big piece in my philosophy involves students having the right to a viable curriculum where they have access to engaging instructional practices and assessment for learning so that they can see a pathway for success and see a pathway towards mastery. One other very important aspect in this philosophy for me is for students to feel safe in every aspect of what that means in the world that we live in today. Um, and lastly, I would say I want students to think. I want us to teach them how to think, not necessarily what to think. Someday they're going to have to think about things that we can't even imagine now. And I want them prepared for that. Aristotle said, if you educate the mind without educating the heart, then you have not educated at all. Close with that as a big part of why I do what I do as a servant leader and how that affects a campus. I just want to thank you for your time today and um, the thoughtful consideration that you have for your middle school campus principal. And um, I am look forward to the process and look forward to learning more about you and Banning Lewis and the community in general. God bless.